So if you haven't heard the news, Dr. K is making an appearance in Power Ranger Beast Morphers. I don't know how, I don't know when, but either way it's going to be very exciting. If you haven't seen my previous video I did on the topic of Dr. K making an appearance in Power Ranger Beast Morphers, I suggest checking it out. Pause this video, go watch that one, and then finish watching this video, that's what I recommend. Or be a wild card and watch it in any order you want. Watch this video and then watch that video, I don't care. It doesn't matter, but anyway, this video is going to be focusing on a topic or a theory discussion on how Dr. K can help the Power Ranger Beast Morphers. Now, if you haven't noticed, there's some similarities between Power Ranger Beast Morphers and RPM. One of them being the computer virus Vengix and Evox, both being computer viruses and both being a force to be reckoned with. Although we haven't seen Evox in action yet, we're getting there, I'm sure we're getting there at the end of Season 1. We're going to see this character actually kick some butt and maybe do something outside of his cyber dimension that he's trapped in. Who knows, I'm hoping we see him fight, it'd be really cool. And even though we don't know who invented the Evox virus, a lot of fans are speculating maybe it could be Nate. He is a child prodigy and it would make sense for him to be a child prodigy that invented this virus by accident in this universe. I mean, it would make sense with the parallels of Dr. K coming in there. I mean, why else wouldn't they have her in there apart from fan service? I mean, Dr. K was also a child prodigy. She invented the Vengix virus. So having these two characters interact would blow their minds and it also blow fans mind I've said that several times but these two characters could learn off one another probably Nate can learn off Dr. K who knows but Dr. K is probably going to be very very sassy once we see her but I would love to see these two characters interact so how is Dr. K going to get to the Power Ranger Beast Morphers universe? Well, like I mentioned in my previous video, Gemma had that dimensional jumper that she used in Super Ninja Steel. And, of course, if Gemma's got one, of course Dr. K is going to have one. And no doubt about it, I'm guessing Dr. K was probably the inventor of that device in their dimension. I'm sure that every other Ranger di uh, invented different ones to hand around, Wes has got one, coda has got one, they're the guardians of their dimension and it's really cool to see them be the guardians so I'm sure that Dr. K is probably going to tinker with it and that's how she winds up in the Beast Morphy universe and that way she learns of the similarities between this universe and her own. Now I'm sure once she arrives in the Beast Morphers universe there's going to be a few jokes about the outfits being made of leather and not spandex, that's going to be a good old laugh but I'm sure she'll help Nate and become somewhat of a mentor figure to help him defeat the Evox virus. And I get the feeling that she's going to help him create some sort of um, computer program that can help her overwrite the Evox virus. And that's going to be their main challenge throughout the episode or episodes if they make it a two-parter. And that would be an interesting thing to see. But I get the feeling like she's going to help him create some sort of computer virus that's going to destroy Evox. Everyone's going to get their hopes up, the virus is not going to work, and they can't stop Evox, and she's going to give some inspiring words to Nate to say, never give up, don't stop trying, and there will be a way to defeat the Evox virus. And then she's going to go back to her dimension. And that's my basic outline for the plot of this episode. And that's where I'm going to wrap things up with this discussion video because this news is fairly new. There's not a lot to go off on and I'm sure more info will come out throughout the months, throughout the weeks. I've got my fingers crossed that maybe we'll see some set photos leaked online. But if we don't see anything about this news in the upcoming weeks or months, I want to say just fingers crossed that maybe something will come up. But if nothing comes up, then best bet is to wait until the episode airs next year. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more Power Ranger content every week, whenever I can give it to you, because we've got some big comic stuff coming up with Necessary Evil and Go Go Power Rangers, so be sure to stick around for that. And I'll see you guys around in the next video. Peace out, take care of yourself, bye, all that good stuff.